often create graphs using a coordinate plane. Let's take a closer look on how we would set that up. To begin with, we're going to focus on only using positive values. The first thing we need to do is identify our x and y axis. Our x axis is our horizontal axis that runs left to right. Our y axis is our vertical axis that runs up and down. Our x and y axis should be perpendicular to each other, meaning they intersect at a 90 degree angle. The point they intersect at is called the origin. The origin is located at point zero zero. All other points on the graph are measured from the origin. When we put data on our graph, we usually have two variables. Variables are a change we are trying to measure. On our graph, we have an independent and a dependent variable. When we graph our data, our independent variable is going to go on the x-axis. An independent variable is one that stands alone. It changes on its own, not because of other things. The dependent variable, on the other hand, is one that depends on or relies on the independent variable. We would plot the data for our dependent variable on our y-axis. When we are gathering data, we are typically looking for a change in our dependent variable. Before we can finish our graph, we need to have a scale for our x-axis and our y-axis. A scale is an interval that we count by. If we look at our x-axis, we can see that we count by ones. One, two, three, four. So we would say our x-axis has a scale of ones. If we look at our y-axis, we can see that we count by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So we would say that our y-axis has a scale of four. Sometimes our x and y axis will have the same scale, sometimes they will have a different scale. That's going to depend on the data we're trying to display. Now that we can set up a graph, we can focus on plotting and reading data points on them.